it's me, GV. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we were attempting to find Dean Domino, and it was proving to be more difficult than we thought it was going to be because there were so many freaking radios. The bane of my existence in this DLC are the radios that uh, will blow up your head. They should have just stopped that crap when you got into the Sierra Madre. I really don't like it. I really, really, really do not. Anyways, our current goal is finding Dean Domino, and we've disabled the uh, security holograms. Anyways, he should be right behind this door. And All there right, he is. You're resourceful. I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. One thing I love about Dean Domino is that he was a celebrity, right? But he's also, like, really... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, ruthless. Yes, he's really ruthless as well. So, in the last episode, we picked up a blackmail tape, and we didn't actually listen to it. But this is the dialogue option relating to it. I found this holotape in your safe. You don't just stop robbing casinos, do you? What's that tape? Oh, the one with Sinclair's woman, Vera. What about it? You want me to give you a standing ovation? Were you blackmailing Vera Keys to break into the Sierra Madre? Blackmail is such a strong word. I asked her, she said yes, then she started to get cold feet. I blame Sinclair. He was such a victim that maybe she felt it would be too easy. It doesn't matter. What did you want her to do? Sinclair built this whole town to accommodate her. Same with the casino's voice lock. He wanted to make sure she had access to everything. And since I already had access to Vera, well, that meant I had access to the vault, too. What were you blackmailing her with? What wasn't I blackmailing her with? Chem use, indiscretions, more chem use, the usual Hollywood tune. Like Sinclair, people are the architects of their own misfortunes. Leave themselves wide open for someone to waltz right in and take what they want. As long as they take a single step into the trap, get a few pictures, get a little dirt, and that person's your piano. Vera? Med X was her thing. Even super stimmed herself for the after rush. Sick. You know, I was gonna feel bad about probably having to kill Dean Domino because we don't have speech, but this dialogue right here has made me realize just how terrible of a person he really is. Also, a side note, if someone's a ghoul, shouldn't their vocal cords be destroyed? Like, he sounds like a normal human, but the majority of ghouls usually sound really rough, right? Anyways... I think she was sick, yes. Found a medical report in her suite. What are you talking about? Medical report? Vera wasn't... the medics and superstims. And here I thought she was trying to numb herself to the lights. Sinclair must have known, though. He was dense, not in that way. But that doesn't make any sense. If she was sick, dying, then why build this place? Why start a damn casino and have her be the lock? Why did you need her? Because she could get closer to Sinclair than I ever could. He built this place for her. Well, after the two chanced to meet. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, because of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. Forget the history lesson, get to the point. 
So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Viriki's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs with in business. And that's all I wanted to know. Ready to die? Always asking questions when you should be shooting. You're a piece of work, I'll give you that. Okay, and here we go. Now, one thing we have to remember is when we do kill Dean Domino, and it is inevitable, we're gonna have to get out of this level, I guess, because this collar is gonna explode just like Dog. Okay, so I was gonna say, he shouldn't have too much resilience because he is like a fragile ghoul. And it looks like if all of these shots connect, although we haven't been having too much luck lately with that's he's dead. So let's press A. And... Goodbye, Dean Domino. Now... Dean has died, right? The door before the collar explodes. Okay. So, we should be able to do this, although I'm not sure exactly what door it's telling me to go through. Hopefully... This is the right way. And this door should do the trick. We have more than enough time, really. I wonder if when Christine's with you... Although she can't really be with you, right? Because her thing um, messes with the frequency. I don't think that's a level up. No, it's not. Okay. Now, it looks like we can continue on in that direction. But, of course, we're not going to. We're going to go back and loot Dean's body. He's got to have some cool stuff, right? Also, we didn't go to the top of wherever those stairs led. So let's go back through here. Yeah, I'm really liking how the graphics look now. Wait, why? I thought we shut all those off. It wasn't beeping when we exited. That's weird. There's one right there too, but it is shut off. Okay, Dean Domino, let's see what you had, my friend. And there's another one of these emitters. And we don't have the repair for it. Dean's tuxedo, plus five speech. And that's what his almost naked body looks like, if anyone was curious. I know you freaks were. Alright. So, the Tampico stage terminal requires key. This terminal is broken. Alright, and what about this one? This terminal is broken. Okay. I'm assuming shooting this is going to do nothing. <laughs> Maybe the bullet would magically repair the terminal. Who knows? Okay, let's see. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything up here, I guess. But there is a Sierra Madre helmet reinforced. And what's in this toolbox? Absolutely nothing. What about back here? There is an Ace of Clubs, Sierra Madre. And this leads back to where we just were. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a look at our quest. Let's see. Oh, actually, I wanted to listen to this stuff as well. Dean Domino's blackmail evidence. Pretty as a picture. Pretty as a picture. Hmm. Vera Key's Partitures. This copy of Vera Key's Partitures contains several notes on the margins of pages. Most of the notations deal with how the best, how to best perform each melody. The first page shows a scribble that seems out of place. It reads, "Begin again. Let it, let go." God, I don't know. Like I mentioned it before, but every time I read something, like in terms of notes and books, my mind just gets jumbled. I don't know why, but it's only when I do let's plays. Ardent Tequila. That's the password for the front desk terminal, uh, and that is a. Vending machine code. Okay, quest. Heist of the centuries. Thread Vera's music sequence together at the receptionist terminal in the lobby. And hopefully all those ghost people didn't respawn. I mean, it kind of would make sense that they would be there, considering they could more could just break in. But, you know, hopefully that's not the case. And let's also hit this um, vending machine up and make a whole bunch of stim packs. We have a lot of coins, so there we go. 31. That's quite a lot. That's probably going to be one of the best rewards of this entire DLC, is just getting all those stim packs. Alright, let's go into Sneak. Let's go back into the Sierra Madre, and let's cross our fingers and hope all those ghost people didn't respawn. Although we could probably take them on, it's just that I don't want to waste the ammo. So far, so good. Not hearing any ghost people. Okay, not seeing any ghost people as well. Let's break stealth and go down here. And if you remember when we first entered the Sierra Madre, I was wondering what this thing was for. It looks like it's for opening up the vault okay access music controls and I guess we want to do all this stuff boom boom back okay gain access to the Sierra Madre vault note added Vera keys let the bright in let the oh it's just three songs okay and I think now we need to go back to where Vera or where Christine was because there was a terminal I think that we could use to 
activate the song and basically open up the vault. Picking up that interference frequency, same as the villa. The floor's live with speakers and radios. Keep an ear out. Watch the walls. Okay, I think Christine's talking about the place that we've already maneuvered through, right? We need to talk to Christine? Okay. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. Let's see. I don't want to say that because it's not like I wanted to kill them. It's just they sort of made me. Okay, I found the phrase for the elevator's audio lock. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? I mean, we know, right? We know why, right? Because he was, like, in love with her and he wanted to have... He wanted her to have access to the entire place. This place, I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like a casino. Not entirely. I know. The sealed doors, the security, it's almost a fortress. I think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open. I have no idea. Let's unlock it. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. Alright. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? It's one old man I think I'll manage. Um... If we stay here, the cloud and the holograms will answer that. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. That's why you're waiting. You're gonna kill him. Um... Okay, the thing is, there's a lot of different ways to end this DLC. And this isn't really the coolest way. Although, let's go with this way. That's why you're waiting. You're gonna kill him. I... I... can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not gonna show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me? If you do, let go of this. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. Okay, we have to be careful with what we pick here. Let him come through the suites, follow me. If he escapes, you'll be... you'll still be here waiting. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... He won't escape, I swear. Alright. Alright. But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... Don't tell me where you're going. I'll find you after this. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. Okay, now I'm going to save the game, even though I think we're pretty much locked into our decisions at this point. But, like I said, there's a lot of different ways to end this DLC, and I know that, um... Like, there were achievements related to a certain way, which I don't want to spoil just yet. But it was a cool way, let's leave it at that. And I just realized we're going to want to get rid of as much stuff as possible. Begin again. Okay, discover the secrets of the Sierra Madre at the vault's central chamber. And before we do that, let's actually heal up to full health and save the game. We're at least as close to full health as we could possibly get. Actually, I shouldn't have saved the game right there because we have some stuff to repair. Let's go into weapons and repair this police pistol. And then drop that one, even though we could save it and repair it again, but I'm uh, too OCD to keep that. Alright, let's also put this on and then repair it. It's so weird that we're wearing... Okay, how much DT is Vera's outfit? Two. And Dean's tuxedo is nothing. Yeah, so we'll wear Vera's. Because it's not real. I mean, this is what we look like. It's not really a dress. Okay, now we're going to save the game once more. And it looks like we're going to end this DLC. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's go into sneak and let's take the elevator to the vault. Alrighty, we're gonna remain in sneak. And we do have like three blips ahead of us. We might not end the DLC in this episode. I don't remember how much we have to do. Although I thought it wasn't a lot. Okay, our caller is emitting a high pitched beep. Let's access this and see what happens. Open maintenance access, elevator protocols, warning. Let's do that. And that's gonna open this. Okay, let's just keep going this way, I guess. And we have a water valve that's just gonna allow us to drink. Let's see, we have a path over here. Is there anything that we want over here? No, just a carton of cigarettes. Actually, there is a gun case, ooh. Yes, I can't believe I almost missed that. All right. I didn't even realize this police pistol actually has bonus critical damage, so that's nice. Okay, like really, even in here there's gonna be speakers, God. All right, I'm not sure where that is, but let's jump down here. Oh, it's right here, okay, I thought that was a speaker. All right, let's jump over here. There's another one again already. Okay, let's get in safe range. There we go. And I'm assuming it's going to be down there. So let's quickly jump over here. And not seeing a speaker. Okay. Well. Looks like that's the end for Arizona. Okay, I was able to progress. And look at this sneaky son of a bitch. Yeah, and there's also another one, like, behind that wall. But yeah, it's it's really trying to make you die like right now. Oh, hello. Okay, I see you too. All right. Let's actually save the game. I had to save you know, I didn't want to save over this because in case we mess up the ending, but I had to save anyways because there's radios all over the place and it's really trial and error. So let's get away from that one. Um, oh, I see you. Okay, where are you? Come on. Come on. No. Oh. That's probably the terminal that shuts all that stuff off. All right, let's try that again. So, run over here, jump. Go up here, and then we're quick, quickly running through that terminal, but also we might have to shut off that radio over there. Okay, we're just gonna have to access the terminal, which magically pauses time. Shut alarms down. That's not the radio, right? No, it's not. Okay, I see what you have to do now. So, basically, there's a speaker right there, which I didn't see, and there's also that speaker over there somewhere and there's the one that's right up here so basically it makes you think you have to go through the catwalk to get over here and access the terminal but in reality you have to jump over that bar and land here to have enough time to go through there and get out of range alright so before we continue let's actually shut down these alarms I'm not sure what this is going to do but we're probably gonna want to do it anyways and let's go this way that little beeping noise in the background shut off although again I don't know what that did oh really really holograms too and a beeping noise okay yeah i don't think we're gonna be able to end this episode or end this dlc in this episode because like i said there's a lot more stuff that we need to do it looks like all right so there's a speaker to our right and it looks like that's the only speaker but there's also a whole bunch of hologram dudes so maybe we just need to make a break for that terminal i'm going to do it because why not hello holograms let me just act activate this really quick and Set behavior computer control panel. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to do, but let's go into a sneak. It looks like we're going to die. Although, what about this? Set behavior water valve control. Okay. Our caller has stopped beeping. And if we go into sneak, we are hidden. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to end this episode here and save the ending for the next one. Just because I really honestly don't know how much is left. And why don't we just end off the week with ending this DLC. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one where we, we, where we will end the Dead Money DLC. Bye-bye.